Sometimes you might come back from a long shoot day and have a ton of footage that you need to stabilize, but you don't want to do it clip by clip. You don't want to have to sit there and wait for each one to export before you finish the next. And that is why today I'm going to show you how you can do batch exporting and even simultaneous rendering using Gyroflow's render queue. So let's jump into Gyroflow. We've got our computer open here. The first thing I need to do is drop in a GoPro file to stabilize. So I'm just gonna pick one from the Bahamas. We were on a boat and got some really cool footage on this boat. And there's a handful of clips during this one flight that I would like to cut up and render separately from one another. So what we're gonna wanna do is find the starting point for our first clip. So right here you can see I'm just still setting up my drone and putting it on the ground. And it looks like right about here is when I took off. So I'm gonna do a starting point using this trim start button here. And let's just play through this for a second and see what the flight path looks like. So this isn't particularly interesting. I'm actually gonna trim the start one more time. So now we're gonna have our clip start here. And I'm gonna play it for a little bit, get a little bit closer. And it looks like I actually want to go back a couple of frames because get a little bit too close to the boat here. But we're going to click on trim end. And this is going to be our first clip. I'm actually going to add the smoothing. I realized that was turned off. Um, so now I've added the smoothing and we'll start set the smoothness to like 0.5, just under it, I guess. Um, so let's just quickly look at this clip. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay, uh, so we have our first clip there, and that's great. So what you need to do now in order to start your render queue is go down to this export button, and you'll see that there's a drop down arrow. Click on that, and then at the top, it'll say add to render queue. And when you click on this, it'll add it to the render queue, and you can actually check what's in the render queue with this button that's to the right. Uh, it'll say render queue, click on this, and it'll show you all of the clips that are in the render queue. Now we only have this one so far, so let's add a couple to it. Once we finish this clip, um, the way that you can get this trim to go away is you can either drag it around like this, or if you want, you can actually make sure that you're at the end of the clip and hit trim start and then trim end and then you get the entire timeline freed up again. So that's how I usually do it. Not sure if there's a better way, but let's continue looking. I'm just gonna play this at 2x speed because I wanna see if, uh, if I get some good movements around here. Okay, so like here's another example. Uh, actually, I think I go around. Perfect. Okay, so this is the next clip I wanna stabilize. I'm gonna start it here using the trim start button. Let's let it play. Yeah, that's a really nice clip. And I'm gonna end it right here because I remember it gets super windy after this and I kind of stopped the smooth movement. So you click trim end and then now we've got our second clip that we wanna stabilize. And now the export button actually says add to render queue. The software knows that you're building a render queue and it makes it a little bit quicker by just having it be a one-click interaction uh, where the export button used to be. So we're gonna add this to the render queue and it'll say that the output file already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Uh, you're gonna click rename because your first clip that you already sent to the render queue is the output file that it's talking about here. So any clip that follows the first one is gonna give you that pop-up, but don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You can always overwrite or rename the clip and have all of them export properly. So let's get a third clip in here just for good measure let's see i do i know i do another orbit here but do i do anything else that's kind of cool all right let's just let's start a clip right here on the side start it and end it right here so you start from the side and go to the back we're going to add that to the render queue as well click rename again and now when we check the render queue we'll see we have three clips and you can click start exporting at the top but when you first download gyroflow and you don't change any of the settings they're gonna go one by one by one and this is totally fine it's still a very nice feature regardless but 
you can actually have them export simultaneously. Now, if your computer is strong enough, this will be beneficial. If your computer is not particularly strong, this might not even be beneficial to you at all. Um, it might take about the same amount of time, potentially even more time. I'm not 100% sure. Um, my computer is not crazy, but I do like to run the parallel renders because I just kind of think it's cool that they can export at the same time. So you can hover over the number of parallel renders and you'll see one through six are your options. So it can render up to six clips at once. I have it set to six because I don't care. In this case, we only have three clips to render anyway. And yeah, just leave it at whatever number you would like it to be. And then you could also change uh, the overwrite action. I have mine set to rename, but it's still gonna give you that pop-up. So I don't know if that's a bug or what that deal is, but um, after that we have the export mode and I have it set to stabilized video. That's what it should be because that is uh, what we're looking for anyway, the gyroflow stabilized exports. So. Q settings will close out of that and just hit start exporting. And you'll see that all three clips are running at the same time. So my export times are actually incredibly slow right now. And that's because I have GPU encoding turned off. You should always have GPU encoding turned on. The only reason that I have it off right now is my screen recording software will not work if I have GPU encoding turned on in Gyroflow. So it's just a compromise I have to make. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually get back to you guys once this is done. A few moments later. So actually what I did is created two other clips with much lower resolutions so that I could have them export quicker because without the GPU encoding, I was gonna be sitting here all day long. But now you can see that when the render queue finishes the export, the clips turn green and they will be stored in that same folder where the original media was stored to begin with. And that's it. Now you're able to export multiple clips way faster than you would have been able to before using the gyroflow render queue that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the quick tip but i'll see you in the next one